Hello guys and welcome to another amazing episode of Stacks and the City. I'm so glad that you guys are here. I'm so grateful that y'all are here yet one more time. Of course y'all, if you haven't done so already, please make sure that you rate, comment, subscribe, and let me know what's going on you all. So you all, this is the new year. Oh my gosh. Who knew? We're in a brand new year. I'm really excited to see what this year offers. You all, before we get into it, you all, this year is all about the the now you know it's for me this year is all about really coming out as a leader being designated as a leader just doing my thing just doing doing what god has intended me to do you all but those things cannot at least for me they cannot happen unless i visualize them i imagine them you all i am a huge proponent of the vision board it has been everything for me i've been doing vision boards for two years this is gonna be my third year i'm gonna be doing a, a vision board party with my friends when we gonna be my third one which, you know, it's always a fun time. Just as at the timbre, you all, I do take these vision boards very, very seriously. I do think that being able to visualize and figure out the life that you're supposed to live for yourself does help set the standard for the life you're supposed to have. Now, if you have never been a person to do a vision board, you don't believe in them, you think they're cray cray, let me tell you something otherwise. I'm a huge fan of them, you all. They are helpful AF. Now, if you've never done a vision board or you've heard about them or you think they're a bunch of hawk wash, I'm going to explain to you guys exactly what they are and what they do and why you should do them. So you guys, a vision board really is an opportunity to put all of your visions, all of your dreams, everything that you've imagined onto paper or into any type of surface. So let's say that you want to become the president. You, know, you have pictures of presidents and you have the White House and you have all these symbols and all these words, presidential, Air Force One, shaken hands, prime minister, leader of the free world, all of branches, all that onto your vision board just to internalize what it means to what, what your interpretation of being a president means. If anything you want, you guys, you can do that. You want the vision board to basically be a reflection of the life that not only do you think that you're supposed to live but the life that you can live as long as you're able to put the work into making it possible now you guys you could do the whole mimosa brunch thing you can do that and i definitely recommend that but this is also very serious work so you want to make sure that the vision board that you're doing is actually going to be able to help you get to where you need to be in your life that's very very important it's fun to mix and mingle and talk about your goals but this is definitely a template that you should use throughout your year to help the life you're supposed to have now guys if you don't know where to start of course you can get your poster board get lots of magazines I prefer the magazine method because I like to do the hunt. I like to look for something I'm like, oh, aha, I feel like the universe is kind of guiding me to where I'm supposed to be in the universe, in the world, in my life, in my vision board, all that fun stuff, that, this, that, all the above, anyways, and um, yeah, that's what you're supposed to get. That's how you start. Uh, I, people get creative. They, they get like things from Michael's, cute little flowers and felts and fun papers and stickers. You guys, this could be super, super creative if you... You can do any kind of surface, wooden surface, foam board, poster board. It doesn't matter you all as long as you're able to translate those thoughts onto paper and that you're able to see them, you all. It, whatever you want. I like to plan my vision boards before I start. Generally, before I start doing a vision board, I actually write, physically write. So usually I have like a little, a little notebook or something like this. Like this is the notebook I had for 2019. I have a notebook that I write things down. In, and I usually write an idea of where how I want to configure my vision board so for you guys uh, so for me I usually have like a personal side and a business side you really want this to be streamlined as organized as possible so even before I start putting things onto paper putting things on that poster board that phone board whatever my surface is I want to make sure that it is as useful for me as possible it's as transparent it's as streamlined to me as possible because I look at my vision board every single day. Super, super important. Now, you guys, the most important part of your vision board is the fact that it has to be something that you look at every single day for the rest of your year. For the rest of 2020, you have to be looking at this vision board all the time. You don't feel like it no more. It won't work unless you're reminded about that. So I kept my vision board in my room and eventually in the room, if there's a back room in my house before I leave, I take a glance at it. I may not stare at it, but I take a glance at it every single year or every single day before I go out the house. So it's something I always internalize. And it's really interesting to kind of look back on the year and reflect and see 
where you're at then versus now because it's like wow like you do see the the strides and things like that that you've made so it's super dope super exciting and great one other tip i would offer you all is to write something on the back of your vision board write a letter to yourself write your intentions for the year write your theme it's really great to reflect especially if you're not one to journal and write which i have not been i used to be but that's what i'm gonna be doing better in 2020 it's writing and yeah, just write a little letter to yourself, how you feel, where you're at, what you're excited for, what you're hopeful for, what you fear, where you're vulnerable. It's always great to see that. I did that on my vision board for 2019, and it's kind of crazy to look back and be like, oh my God. So definitely recommend doing that. Now, guys, okay, I'm going to show you guys a couple of my vision boards I've done. You can, oh, my podcast people, if you can't see, it's okay. I'm going to describe it out. So this is, oh, can you see that? Anyway, this is my old, um, this was in 2017. So basically before I had Stacks in City, I called it Fabulous and Paid. So I had a fabulous side and a paid part. As you can see, it's not very, it's not super, it's a little sparse, but it's still super cute. Y'all, things were, things started happening here. And I can definitely remember seeing some of this coming to fruition. This is what I want from last year. So this one from last year is the one I actually took a little bit more seriously. Um, again, I did more reading. I talked about reading. I've done more reading uh, in 2019 than I've ever done in years. Like very like, intentional, purposeful reading. Uh, Want to be more of an investor, which y'all, my money game was not on point this year. I was more of that eat, pray, love life. Just saying. Uh, money, of course, matters. Inspiring, being on TV, uh, being fashionable, doing more yoga, all this stuff. You all, I was able to do. The only thing, the only thing I really didn't do much in 2019 was get my money up but it ha but it's happening you know like I knew that was happening so and I also wrote some goals in the on the back there so yeah it's again super cool to see this but you all my vision board is definitely my vision board is definitely evolving as we speak next I've already kind of written some buzzwords of what I want my vision board to look like. I'm going to, of course, show you guys. And I'll also provide some footage on how I want uh, on my vision board party. So I'll show you all. And I'll go, of course, I'll show you guys my new vision board for 2020 because I've been really, really intentional. And I spent a lot of December thinking about some buzzwords that I want to incorporate into my vision board. Cause, because, again, guys, a big purposeful point in 2020 for me is to not get bamboozled and be more intentional about what I want and be more forthright about it and not have it other way around. So you guys, I do encourage you all to create a visual visualization of your life. Do something to conjure up things. Remember guys, the vision board is only a template. It's not everything. It's not going to be the answer to your problems. You actually have to put some work in it too, y'all. You know, you just can't be like, oh yeah, yeah. And then and you're wondering why you don't have it. Like one thing I really wanted to do, y'all. Anyway, just saying. You gotta put the work into, but it definitely comes into fruition. You guys, as always, I'm so grateful that y'all are here talking with me. Let me know in the comments about your vision boards. And y'all, I would actually love to see your vision boards too. We gotta hold each other accountable. Y'all, this is 2020. Bente, bente. I'm 2020 vision. I got context in now, y'all. Just saying. Cause see.